Hey, hey, hey there, folks. Sean Pesky here, bringing you another audio commentary. And today we have a game between Kenshin, who is our um, red human player here, and, uh, oh, it looks like no observers, and a player called WP, who I'm not actually familiar with, uh, who's actually um, spawning in this location here with a very unfavorable uh, spawning location. But as I say, I'm not familiar with this play, w player WP. He actually has the um, uh, username Yoan, which is obviously um, Todd's old username. But I don't think it's him. We'll have to see if the playstyle seems similar. But I think people would have gone crazy if it actually was him. And a Kenshin, uh, I assume we all know him. He's an excellent, excellent uh, human player. Uh, he's really sort of um, he's he's sort of in the second tier in that you don't see him in a lot of great competitions. But certainly he has the capability at least to beat any player in the world. And it looks like both players are going to be starting. Yes, both players are going to be starting out without Archmage, as is so standard on this map. It's really hard to go for anything else. Mount King is the second choice, and we have a. Occasionally, seen humans try and get away with Mount King against against things like Orc and Elf on this map, but it's really tricky, mainly because you can't do this really nice creeping first off because you don't have those water elementals to tag, and um, after that it becomes a bit more viable. But you're just always a bit behind where you would be if you had this Arc Mage, and so that's why it's just such a common um, hero to go. And we've actually see uh, the power building of the altar f uh, very early on. Uh, it's not entirely necessary really in this matchup, it's nice certainly, uh, but it's just so unlikely you're going to be harassed early on and so you can afford to um, uh, sort of save a bit more money, but certainly uh, it doesn't do too much harm and it makes sure that your creeping is absolutely safe and that's really important for our player WP here, who's in this uh, unfavorable position where it's really, really quick for uh, Kenshin to run in and try and get a creep jack by Ooh, looks like that's actually not what he's going to be doing. You know, uh, he's not going to be creeping that camp. You know, that's the camp that Kenshin will be creeping. He is now bringing out his sixth militia. We can see he brought out that water elemental very, very early, which is just so fantastic. And meanwhile, we're seeing this camp being crapped. And uh, that's an interesting choice. I think this is generally camp to creep in later. And unfortunately, one militia going straight down there, completely focused. And hopefully this one will be microed back. And the boat now going off on that Archmage instead. And meanwhile, nice micro here by Kenshin, managing to bring that one militia back that is already slowed and low on health. And uh, once the item, ooh, potion of greater healing, nice item there for that Archmage. Uh, it's going to mean that he can tank a bit of damage, and when he gets his second hero, he can give that, um, it's, uh, since it's so likely to be a melee hero, either the Panda or the Mount King, uh, he can just give the, that to, um, no, to that hero, which is likely to take a lot of focus. Meanwhile, it looks like uh, Kenshin has been doing a bit of scouting here, just getting out what's going on. I like this very early scout tower. If you put it into an um, arcane tower, that's so useful against that arc mage. We can see both players have actually done that now. And uh, meanwhile, the item was, ooh, rune bracers. Not really brilliant. Might be good against the Mount King. Other than that, not too useful. And uh, looks like our, w our player WP here is going to run back after having bought some mercs. And that is the one great advantage of creeping out this camp first in this matchup, is that you can dispel those water elementals very handily with those Shadow Priests. And uh, you can even pick up a um, Berserker if you want later on. That's a pretty useful thing to ha have, and we did see that farm was being power built as well, so it looks like that's at least a possibility uh, to pick that up at any point, really. I mean, you know, we are seeing a bit of harassment here by the looks of things, um, but uh, it's not too, too much. And it looks like this one footman just going to run back in. And um, this Archimage now just running around basically trying to uh, keep uh, Yoan a bit uh, distracted. You know this farm has gone off in the back there. A nice place to put it where it won't necessarily be scouted easily and a bit harder to take down as well. You know an arcane tower. Ooh and a second tower going down as well. That's a bit overkill unless we're going to see mass tier 1. Or no. Mass tech I guess. Uh, otherwise it's not really too useful. Maybe a really quick expansion or something. But it doesn't look like that's the path he's going down now. Looks like, ooh, he did actually manage to buy that Berserker, so maybe that's the path he's going to go down. Nice that he could get that Berserker instead of uh, letting uh, WP get it here. And it looks like this Archmage now taking a bit of a uh, focus, but he is still level 2. Actually, both Archmages are still level 2. Uh, obviously, um, actually, this Archmage, uh, WP's Archmage, with a bit less experience, uh, just because of the nature of the camps he's crept. And, um, you know, it looks like some shopping going on. Probably going to buy a Boots. Uh, he's not going to sell that Rune Bracer spell, which is surprising. No, he does sell it there. There we go. Uh, that's a good choice, I think. Just not too, too useful. Again, it's an undead. It's a fantastic item to have. And uh, in some situa some other situations, it's pretty useful. But in general, all that gold is certainly worth more. And uh, meanwhile, this Archmage has also bought himself a boots. So it's a nice little mirror match here. Nice spell on that, uh, or attempt to dispel there. Uh, on that, um, 
fall down on my tail, and this uh, Shadow Priest will manage to get away and can heal himself up so quickly. But this Arc Mage now very, very low from WP. Needs to be very, very careful about losing that. And it uh, looks like uh, this Berserker actually is taking a lot of damage as well. Should probably um, try and heal him up at some point. And it looks like Kenshin's trying to get um, trying to get the two together in the hopes that they can he uh, they can heal each other up and uh, just get uh, finally um, a decent army which he can do some uh, economic damage with. Because that's a big part of human versus human is doing that uh, big, big economic damage. Nice deny there by uh, Kenshin's Archmage. Uh, gets last hit on his own Shadow Priest so that it's um, it, uh, he denies the experience and he looks like he's going to get this footman as well. No, maybe not. He actually gets blocked by his own fe uh, footman there. Bit careless and so hopefully this footman will be just a sacrifice to creeps. Or no, ooh, one hit point left. This footman going to make a run for it. These uh, footman actually, ooh, not even blocking. The uh, Archmage does manage to get the kill and is now very close to level 3. We know some nice militia creeping has got this Archmage, or um, WP's Archmage, to a very similar point and he's actually doing some creeping at the moment. Good get level 3 and off a uh, creep that should be Kenshin's. A very nice thing to do there because it's a bit harder to um, level up later on then. And uh, the, both Archmage is hitting level 3 at a similar time. Actually, this is I'm really, really close at this point. Ooh, although, look at this. Yo uh, Yoan or uh, WP is just so far behind in tech as a result of having spent a bit more on um, on uh, getting a couple more mercs and also ha not having sold the item that he picked up, which allowed um, uh, Kenshin to uh, tech a bit quicker. And meanwhile, this one tower actually taking a lot of damage, but it looks like it will be uh, allowed to live for now because it isn't upgrading anything. And uh, what are all mental surround going off here, but it looks like a lot of damage can be done to these militia and a lot of economic damage being done as well. And this is really, really bad. Meanwhile, we are seeing a bit of a counter attack here, but it's not too much. And uh, meanwhile, the big, big. Um, units from uh, Kenshin are managing to get back into his base, but he's lost a lot of units. This is very, very nice here for WP. I really do think uh, doing some sort of economic harass is just so nice in human versus human, especially with those water elementals at level 2. They just do so much damage, but meanwhile, this Archmage being forced to use that healing potion the last second really took a lot of focus there, and it's out of mana as well because of that arcane tower, and so that's a bit unfortunate that they did have to use that item which otherwise would be very very useful in that late game especially when you start to see mount kings and stuff out uh, second and uh, looks like this archmage now could be able to do a bit of focusing down on these um, footmen of WP but he, meanwhile he has a couple of low footmen of his own and then uh, no arcane vault up for Kenshin at this point meanwhile I think we, yeah, we do see one uh, just finishing now for uh, WP so that's gonna be very useful for him if he can get uh, some low footmen out but it looks like he's actually losing a lot of footmen here gonna manage to take out one militia and those militia are huge to kill but now that keeps finished uh, they can be rebuilt and so uh, that's really really nice for Kenshin that he's managed to get this tech up so quickly and a couple of units being able to squeeze through these uh, gaps in his base, going to try and take out this last footman before probably going to try and go for some sort of uh, creeping at this point. Uh, he could try and go for some harassment, but I just don't think it'd be too damaging, uh, especially considering that uh, this tech is almost done. We're going to start to see some, uh, uh, some good uh, ability to defend it coming up soon, and uh, looks like Mino, ooh, Naga being chosen second. Uh, not too common a choice, really. I mean, it's probably the third most popular second hero for uh, human versus human, but uh, cer it's certainly a distant third, just because there's a whole bunch of things. Uh, again, I think I personally prefer the Mount King second, just because y it sort of really works for you no matter what the situation. Um, you know, the Naga and the Panda, I mean, they do, they're a bit sort of area of effect heroes, sort of, so if you if it becomes a breaker war, that Panda becomes pretty useless in the uh, Naga. Uh, useful against heroes, certainly, but uh, not too useful. Still, uh, it's uh, very situational. You need to be able to do a lot of damage early on, and maybe Kenshin feels that he's got a significant advantage in tech, and the, the Mountain King now coming out for um, WP, or, but it just might be a bit too late, and it looks like a bunch of uh, Arcane Towers actually here. Not going to be able to do too much damage, and this altar could take a lot of damage. Looks like a, the altar's going to have to be mass repaired to actually stay alive, and we are seeing a bit of counter-attacking here. Shredder's been bought. That's a good choice here, just because it's going to be great for defense as well as getting some lumber, and uh, considering that Kenshin did lose a bunch of militia, that's a good, good choice, and it looks like oh, this Mount King just could be able to make it out, but a lot of um, peasants could be lost in the meantime, and they're not being rebuilt at the moment, so this is quite nice for Kenshin at this point, and uh, the Archmage now coming back, he is level 3, and the, ba the Mount King is out, immediately goes for a bolt, going to try and kill this Berserker, obviously the militia do a lot of extra damage to Berserkers, so that Berserker goes straight down, and that's very, very nice, but this Archmage now taking a lot of damage, and being slowed by that Naga, this is the type of advantage you have to get with your Naga early on, because after a while, uh, it's still useful, but certainly not as useful as, say, like if you're comparing a level 5 Naga and a level 5 Mount King, that Mount King is just so amazing that you really have to have a level advantage from having got all these kills like this, and there's another slow arrow going
going off 28 hit points on the Zerg Mage, but gonna manage to get away very nice. And there's now a surround going off on this Naga. Oh my god, and this Naga gonna go down, presumably, because the TP isn't it isn't even worth transferring at this point. And uh, that Mount King levels up to level 2, though. And uh, actually, one low footman here, not being focused down. Bit of a mistake here by Kenshin. And uh, Kenshin now gonna try and focus on the on the Mount King after having got that one footman kill finally in this Arc Mage. Now gonna, ooh, look at this, a whole bunch of mercs being bought up, and uh, including s uh, the Mugolum, which is gonna be able to slow this Mount King. Mount King's gonna go down, and that's a level 2 hero, which is so much more effective, or so much harder to, um, uh, to revive. It takes so much longer, costs more as well, it's just so annoying. And that's a level 4 on that Arc Mage. Very, very nice play here by Kenjin, really showing what sort of the seasoned pro can do. And, uh, ooh, look at that, actually a sort coming out for, um, for, uh, WP, but I uh, only a priest coming out for uh, Kenshin. I think priests are definitely the better choice. And I mean, once until you get breakers, where these sorks are quite nice. But after that, really, the slow just becomes so useless. And obviously, it's not like you're getting those units for their DPS anyways. And with all these mercs, uh, Kenshin really doesn't have too much of a choice but to push, just because otherwise it'd be so much wasted opportunity. And uh, with all the slow available to him as well. He may as well use as much of it as possible, but that Mugulum getting focused down so quickly, and it looks like actually a lot of slow being um, used here on both sides, and uh, considering that the Sork is now out, and that's something you not you do occasionally see in early um, tier two in human versus human, but really uh, after a point, it slow becomes completely useless. And this one Ogre Muller, ooh, look at that Kenshin tried to deny it, but I don't think he quite managed it, and it looks like this one Sork could have managed to run for run away, and uh, Mino the Naga is now back out. Mino that Mount can could be out, not gonna be out for little while longer. The Shadow Priest getting some good healing in the back there, and this Archmage probably not at too much sort of dying, even though he is sort of outgunned at this point. This Priest being run back, probably he can just heal himself up and get straight back into this battle. And with level 2 um, uh, Brilliant Zora, it's not like mana is going to be too much of a problem at this point. And uh, looks like actually yeah, Kenshin finally going to pull back, but what an action-packed game we've had so far. And uh, looks like this Mount King is now back out. Probably should use a Clarity, though certainly he can just stick around this Archmage for long enough. And actually Clarity being used on the Archmage, but not on the Mount King. So maybe Kenshin isn't going to be, or um, WP isn't going to be going for a fight in the near future. But it looks like uh, there's not really too many units out for Kenshin at the moment. It might be a good time to see some sort of push. And Arcane Pop only being built now really, really late. And I really do think that if, uh, if actually if actually some militia were brought in as well, uh, some good pushing could be done. Even though that's not something you normally see in human versus human, like, we are seeing a bit of a sort of weakness or a bit of a a bit of a sort of down downturn in terms of army value for uh, Kenshin for the moment, but I'm sure he's going to be able to bring that back up once he gets these uh, two Arcane Sanctums up and running fully, but he's actually not building from one and upgrading from the other, so he's going to have quite a small army, though certainly those water elementals do help a bit, and a Tome of Strength now for Kenshin, and you know, the equivalent camp being crept out, and uh, ooh, Silly Mask, excellent item there for that Mount King, it's to give him nearly limitless mana, you know, it was another Rune Bracers <laughs> for, uh, for Kenshin, really not his day apparently, Tome Experience, brilliant items here for WP, uh, getting that level three now on as Mount King and um, actually it's a bit interesting there I guess uh, it's generally better just to wait just because you get a tiny bit more experience if you uh, pick it up after you get all the experience you can just because obviously you get less experience as you level up but certainly that's not a huge factor and nice you can see he's, uh, uh, Yoan or WP has gone for clap uh, as his second choice because he knows he's going to have so much mana that's a great great choice and a mean all bolt goes off this Naga down in a lot of trouble does have an involved pot does use it at the last moment nicely played there but Kenjin you can see being forced to move out of here and you can see what I was saying just not enough uh, units at this point for Kenjin you really should have been playing a bit more defensively considering there's still so many footmen around for uh, WP, it looks like he might even be going for a push here. There's certainly against all these militia, he's going to have some trouble. But uh, actually, we'll first breaker now about it as well. And then we did see this Goblin Zeppelin being bought. It's going to be interesting to see what he actually manages to do with it. It's not a huge amount he can actually do. I mean, obviously, there's not too many units that can attack it, but things like Water Elementals do a huge amount of damage. Even um, Priests do a fair bit of damage to them over time. And so uh, it's not like a great place just for hiding stuff or anything like that. And, uh,. Uh, especially considering that they can be slowed as well, it's a bit of a risky move. We'll have to see. I mean, we'll see how see how he decides to use it. But uh, certainly, it's uh, not sort of a amazing, amazing thing like it can be in some matchups. And uh, the Sarkmage is actually getting very close to five now for Kenshin. I mean, his Naga is really lagging behind in experience compared to this Mount King. Uh, Mount King's almost four. Naga isn't even three, just because of uh, that experience. So with some nicer creeping by WP, who's now going a bit on the offensive. But actually, ooh, it looks like he's. 
um, not moving in all at once, which is a bit of a mistake, I think. And uh, we are now seeing uh, actually two units or a unit queued up there, and no unit being produced there. A bit of sloppy play, and uh, looks like uh, ooh, a priest actually being left behind as well. Possibly uh, just say they're healing up the um, water on my toe, which wasn't rallied forward, which is a bit of a mistake. And you know, this archmage now could be able to do some uh, good damage here. I um, managed to take out one priest early on, a fork lightning going off as well. Good to be able to um, actually do a spell that uh, water on mental. Very, very nice here by Kenshin, who's not even needing to bring up militia, but actually this uh, goblin shredder being uh, focused down. It's really, really nice to focus that down, but nice use of the Zeppelin, uh, distracting um, uh, WP for long enough to